What happened with Pete Rock? With Pete? Oh, man. See, I completely forgot. This <laughs> old niggas hating. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. Because I don't even remember whatever he the fuck he said. I think he, if I remember correctly, I think he said I was like ruining hip hop or something like that or something like that. But you just old niggas hating. Yeah. You know, old niggas hate. And they hate. And I don't know why they do it. You know, you would expect them to use whatever wisdom they have to try right. and lift the next person up. But right. they get into this old curmudgeon ass bullshit where it's like, <laughs> oh, if it's not what we. Uh, what we expected or what we wanted, then we can't support, you know, progress and change scare people. But right. I ain't got no ill will toward P-Rock. I ain't even thought of I Until you just said that shit, to be <laughs> honest, I completely forgot that shit even happened. Right. I completely forgot about that shit. I'm not going to lie. I didn't expect that from him, though. He called out you, Yachty, Dolph. The Dolph. <laughs> right. Like, Long live Dolph. How you call out Dolph? Like, right. What the fuck was Dolph doing wrong? Right. You know, that's what I'm saying. Just old curmudgeon ass yeah. shit. So, yeah. Yeah. Yo. How do you feel just because you mentioned it, just like hip hop taking so many L's. We lost Dolph. We lost DMX, Juice World, it, Draco the Ruler. Man, it's been tough out here. We've we been saying it for a long time. You know, that being a rapper is like one of the most dangerous professions mm. out here. And, and you know... A lot of people blame it on the culture of rap, and I and some of that, some of that is true, but I think it's because as a rapper, and and people don't talk about this a lot, so I'm gonna make sure I say it like really clear and point. As a rapper, we're expected to do and be so much more than every other genre of musician. It seems like. As a rapper, we have to behave a certain way. We have to speak a certain way. We have, or 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 we're thought of as lesser than, and that's fucked up. You know, like you you have a pop song that's that's that can be one one sentence or one word or you know one phrase for damn near the whole song, right. and everybody's cool with that, right? But then the rap songs have to be the most linguistically palpable, comprehensive breakdown of fucking life ever. You know what I'm saying? Like, if we can't make something simple or it's considered uh, ruining the, the, the art of rap. But you don't see that with rock. You don't see that with pop. You don't see that with any other genre of music whatsoever. And... That also includes to how they boil us down into just those two genres. You got rap or hip hop. And every other genre of music has multiple subgenres. Right. And so I think when it comes down to that and you have people trying to keep up with those expectations, if they're a street rapper, you know, or whatever that is, right, then you have the next person or the next group of people who center in on that and it breeds hate and confrontation. And, and I'm not saying that rap breeds that I'm saying the, the categorically being placed in saying like, Oh, I'm a street rapper. I rap about this. And therefore the next person feels as though like the only way to, to compete with this person or to be anywhere near this person is to perform in real life at a higher level than that person. So if this person rap like they're the biggest killer, then fuck it, I'm gonna try that out, right? Okay, this person rap like he the biggest, whatever, cool, I'm gonna go try him up and see what happens, you know? And then you have the clout factor, which the clout is the biggest, it's worse than a fucking opioid crisis, you know, like the fucking clout crisis. Now everybody's trying to find a way to to get on. And if, right. and if that's going at this rapper or winning this, battle with this rapper where where lives on the line and that's what they do right and it's fucked up i, I feel really bad for uh, all the families and all as uh, all the fans too because they you got like all these kids who grew up with all of these rappers or like they just got introduced to these rappers and, and they was really doing something for them you know it was helping them with their depression if it's like x or like they were speaking for their city if it was like Dolph, you know what i'm saying or you know speaking for like their identity if it was like pete you know right. what i'm saying and and 
you know, or or speaking for the struggle of being a rapper from where they're from. If it's like Draco, you know, Draco and and and, and look at it, right. you know, like now that person is gone, that cornerstone of somebody's community or society or whatever it is, just poof and they're gone. Mm -hmm. and like th that vacuum that's being left, it's not easy to fill that vacuum right over and over and over again. right for sure you know so it's fucked it's yeah. fucked up hell yeah